Hey all, welcome to Programming Knowledge. Hope you are all doing good. Today the topic for discussion is about Kiwi and uh, you'll, I'll be teaching you about what is Kiwi, why Kiwi is used and uh, how, we should, how we are going to use Kiwi. At the end of the tutorial you will be knowing about uh, what, are the, what is the purpose of using Kiwi and uh, how you'll be creating an application with uh, methods that I'm going to teach you about. So let's get started. Let's say you want to create an application which have all the stuff like windows, menus, icons and buttons and you want to perform a specific task. And uh, it needs to be run on multiple platforms like Android mobile phone device, Windows, Linux on uh, computer and uh, to do that we need to have a whole bunch of code and a lot of complexity is there and uh, it takes a lot of time as well to avoid that kiwi concept comes in let's see what is kiwi kiwi is a free graphical user interface python library where all the stuffs with regards to windows icons and menus are available in this library and uh, you just need to use this library to create this application and uh, to make sure that all the stuffs are there without complexity and uh, it saves a lot of time for creating this application and uh, it will be running on a different platforms like android ios and uh, windows uh, where is kiwi library available it's available in python which is a programming language which instructs a computer to perform specific tasks by writing down the code those who are beginner, I'd like to explain what is library. Library is a collection of methods used to perform tasks without writing the whole bunch of code. Let's say we are using WhatsApp. WhatsApp is used to send and uh, send text messages and receive text messages. So you are using a text box to type the text message and uh, click on the play button to send the message so these text boxes buttons and uh, navigations or the graphical user interfaces and uh, they're all separately programmed to run the specific task of sending the message if you're creating an application you need to write down all the code for all these specific tasks their complexity arises when you are not uh, using the structured format or maybe whole bunch of code is there for the complexity there uh, there in order to avoid all the uh, problems we use library and library is a collection of methods uh, there is already available. We just need to use that library and take out what we want like windows menus icons as required Let's see now why one should use Kiwi As we have different programming languages different libraries and uh, all the stuff that are already available Why I'm going to use Kiwi is one of the main questions the purpose is to create an application that runs on a multiple platforms on a device this is how like kiwi advantage is multiple platforms such as android ios windows linux library it runs on each and every platform just writing uh, a code it's a benefit for user he'll be able to use all the platforms with this particular kiwi library and also for the programming developer who writes on the code as all the libraries or of uh, graphical user interface is available in Kiwi these are the different platforms which I was talking about where by using Kiwi library you are going to run this application this is an Android device but just try uh, using the Kiwi library you will be able to use in Android mobile phone and in Windows as well you can run the application and Linux 
as well which you can run the application how is kiwi used as we know the summary that we are going to perform activities by creating windows menus icons using kiwi library let's now see how we are going to uh, implement this i have taken an example of performing a sum of two numbers which i have mentioned over here for performing a sum of two numbers on a, a by using windows uh, buttons text boxes icons in an application what uh, by using kiwi library what you are going to do is first you will create a window like when you are up opening an application a window will pop up then you are going to create a layout to make sure that uh, the contents that are structured as you wish or as your requirements then we will create a buttons and required widgets to performing the task of performing a sum of two numbers and then followed by we'll create a method where we'll store the required formulas to run the uh, to run the program method is used to make sure that we are running the program for this uh, for by running this method by running this method okay then at the end of it we'll run the program with inbuilt methods that is uh, there in kiwi library uh, the method is the method name is run which i am going to teach you in the coming tutorials so these are the five steps for creating an application using kiwi which covers up the how part we create the window we create the layout we create the buttons and then we create the method where we store the formula for performing a task and then we run the method by running the program using uh, a building method called run so to, so to summarize and make sure that uh, the insight which i have which i am delivering it to you we are going to create an application which will create all the graphical user interfaces like windows icons and menus to perform task or activity and uh, which will run on uh, multiple platforms like android ios and windows how we are going to do it we are going to do it using a programming language called python where the kiwi library is available and i'll be teaching you these steps of performing a sum of two numbers or i mean uh, like to create a window to create a layout create buttons method and running the program with a different set of examples in the coming tutorials so it's an easy way of creating an application where you will be saving a lot of time effort and uh, you'll you'll be creating an application which will run on multiple platforms okay so let's end, end this uh, tutorial and uh, make sure that we are going to create an application with the coming tutorials that i am going to teach thank you for joining with programming knowledge